all about preparation. It's about knowing what to do. Um, I've got a lot of years experience in painting live and seascapes being one of my favourite subjects. And it's a number of occasions when you, you arrive on scene and you know, you're not too sure what to do. We can eliminate all of that this evening. I'm going to give you a complete track of the way I work when I'm working outside in en plein air. Preparation, I think, starts in a studio. And if you can imagine this, uh, if you're in a forest, the trees generally stand still. But in a seascape, the, the sea is constantly moving. So how do you paint that? This technique will give you a really good grounding in how to paint and, um, and where I come from, which is all about sort of getting it, uh, making it a bit easy. But initially I want to show you, because I wanted you to imagine you're actually on a beach. So how does all this work? The sea is moving. If you get your paint out and try and paint that, it's going to be really confusing. Charcoal is really, really quick. In the distance, as we go further back, these shapes will become smaller. So again, we've got a deep water, the crest is coming up, the sea's rising. And then as it comes down, it gets lighter. So we don't press so hard on the charcoal. If we we're using pencil for this, it would take uh, much, much longer to do. All right, here we go. So I'm supporting the tip of the charcoal with my hand. When you're doing charcoal, if I move left and right, you might see some stop-start marks. If you're putting it in in a circle, you're less likely to get those. And it um, does the same job. Really sit down, enjoy a nice pad, some paper and obviously with, with it and, and some charcoal, a putty rubber and just have a look and see the what it is you're going to actually paint. You don't have to paint everything, you can paint a small section. And if you are looking at um, a sandbank at about maybe 50 to 100 feet out, you can get some crashing waves coming over that sandbank. And that's what to look out for. Look out for the action, not just the, you know, it's all the same. Look out for a bit of action.